In this video, I'll break down how to create some really cool effects using my new animation preset pack, which is for sale on my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description below. So once you purchase the pack, it should give you the zip folder called animationpresets.zip. All you have to do is just simply double click on this file and that will simply unzip the folder. Now this is the folder you actually want to install. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to go, click on home, and then go over here to movies, double click on movies, and find the folder motion templates, double click on motion templates, and then what you want to do is you want to find the effects folder. So if I open up the effects folder right here, as you can see, animation presets. So all you want to do is go back and then take this animation preset folder and drag it into the effects folder in your motion template folder. Now in order to create these really cool animations, you have to know how to use the magnetic mask tool to cut out the subject. So what you want to do is you want to select on this clip and hold down the option key to simply duplicate it. Now what you want to do is you want to apply the magnetic mask effect on the top clip if, if you want to create any cool transitions or if you want to apply any clips, any effects to the bottom clip. So we're going to select on this top clip and we're going to head over here to the effects panel and we're going to scroll down until we find the category mass and keying. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find the magnetic mass tool and apply this onto your clip. Now this effect is only available in Final Cut Pro 11 or above so if you're still running Final Cut 10 you're not going to be able to use this effect and you're going to have to up, update uh, Final Cut Pro. So what you want to do is you want to select on this clip and all you simply want to do is just simply click on the actual subject and there you go the subject is completely masked out. Now you could zoom in to like 200, 400% and go and you kind of like go through the mask and refine it and see if Final Final Cut made any mistakes, but I think overall Final Cut did a pretty good job. You could also, so as, as you can see right here, maybe messed up a little bit. Now you can either, either use the, the brush tool, so the subtract or the add brush tool, or the add or subtract point tool. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and select the subtract tool right here. And we're going to create a couple more points, and you see Final Cut did a pretty good job. Now we have to head back over to the plus tool and just add a little more right here. And as you can see, already Final Cut did a really good job of selecting the subject. Now what you want to do is head back over here to fit. And all you have to do is just simply click on Analyze, and Final Cut is going to use AI to completely mask out your subject. And as you can see, it literally takes seconds, and then all you have to do is click on Done, and now the subject is completely masked out. And if we select on this bottom clip and disable it, as you can see, the subject is completely masked out. Now we can apply any animation presets we want to either the, the cutout of the subject or you can apply it to the bottom clip. So here is the first example. As you can see, this is just what the original clip looks like. And I cut out the subject, so if I go ahead and select on the bottom layer, as you can see, the subject is completely isolated. So we're going to go ahead and re-enable the bottom clip. And now I'm going to apply this really cool offset effect. So if I open the effects panel and I scroll up until I find the category animation presets. Now in this case we're going to go ahead and scroll down or scroll up until we find the one we want and let's say we want to apply offset slide one, apply this onto the bottom clip and now it's already going to create this really cool like offset animation. You don't have to add any keyframes so we go ahead and play this clip right here as you can see, you have this really cool like background. So you see how the background kind of just slides. You create this really, really cool offset effect. Now this next effect is a little more complicated. So as you can see, here is the original clip. So we just have this bottom clip. And as you can see, I applied the magnetic mask onto this clip. And then I just simply bladed the clip. And then I just simply deleted the magnetic mask. You can see this part of the clip does not have a magnetic mask but this part does, so all you would do is just simply take the clip and then just simply, as you can see, I just bladed the clip and then delete the magnetic mask off this one. So as you can see, if I play it, this is what the original clip looks like without any kind of animation. Now, so you want to actually have the subject animate on. If we open up the effects panel and let's scroll down, make sure in the animation preset category, and we're going to apply this slide up preset onto the actual cutout. And as you can see, it's going to slide up. But as, as you can see too, which is really cool, it already has motion blur applied, so you don't have to worry about adding any kind of motion blur. So let's go ahead and see the after. As you can see, see how this subject kind of just slides up, bounces into place, and creates this really cool transition. Now let's say you're not completely happy with the actual animation. You can select on the clip, 
and then head over here and you can adjust the start value, the ramp duration, the cycles, and the acceleration until you get the look that you like. Now the next effect is this really cool liquid explosion effect. So again, if I disable this bottom clip, as you can see, the subject is completely cut out on the top layer. And we go ahead and re-enable the background clip. As you can see, it just looks completely normal. Now if we head over here to the effects panel and apply the liquid explosion effect. So we apply this onto the bottom clip right here. You're going to have this really cool effect. So if we go to the beginning, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks okay, but it, it kind of looks a little cheesy. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make it look even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this bottom clip and a couple settings that I would adjust is head over here to the actual hue slider. And as you can see, see how you can like change the colors. So let's say this color looks pretty good. You could also increase the actual saturation. Now we can go ahead and take the size. We can decrease the size and we could adjust the speed or leave it how it is. We could also have this really nice glow. So if we adjust the radius, the opacity of the glow, if you want to decrease the threshold, that we have a really nice glow. We could adjust the softness of the glow and already that creates a really cool effect. Now let's say you want to add like a really cool distortion. Now this one, unfortunately, you have to actually kind of manually keyframe because I couldn't really figure out a good way to make this customizable. But it, again, it's not that much work. All you want to do is head over to the amount, place a keyframe on the amount. And then what you wanna do is you wanna find where the liquid distortion uh, stops. So as you can see, it stops right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna take the amount and I would increase it to maybe something like 45, 50. Let's do 50 for this example. As you can see, it's a little bit of word you kinda of have to you know manually enter the keyframe, but it takes like a minute in total and it creates this really cool effect. So let's go ahead and play it. And then as you can see, see this really cool, so we go back, this really cool like liquid explosion effect. Now this last one is very similar to the second one. So if I go ahead and play it right here, here's the first clip, and then I just have the subject completely cut out using the magnetic mask, and then I just simply bladed the clip and then deleted the magnetic mask on this section. So you can see, you create, so if I go kind of go frame by frame, you create this really cool like seamless transition. Now let's say you want to go over here to the effects panel and you want to go ahead and animate this actual subject. So as you can see, you have a 3D rotate, you have a scale in, and you have all these slides. In this example, we're going to go ahead and apply this scale in onto this actual effect and onto this actual clip. And the, the slide down, slide left, slide right, scale and 3D rotate, they all act the same. So we go ahead and just disable the effects panel. And then we can go ahead and head right here and we can play it. As you can see, see how the subject just scales in. Now again, you could customize it. So we could select on this and let's say we want to, you know, take the, the ramp duration really high. We want to, you know, decrease the cycle. As you see, you can customize it. So if I go back to the beginning of the clip, now it's going to create a very different effect. See how it's kind of like a little bit slower. So it depends on whether you want to be fast or slow. But as you can see, it's very customizable. And that is how you create some really cool effects in Final Cut Pro with my new animation preset pack. Again, it is for sale on my website, winkinsmedia.com. The link is down in the description below. And if you enjoy watching these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.